Yetmir, thank you again for joining us uh, to have a discussion about the campaign. Uh, it's great to pleasure. have you. My pleasure. Uh, this week, of course, the campaigns began officially. What stands out for you um, in terms of how the campaigns have started? It's obvious that these elections have caught all of the parties a little bit uh, off guard. You know, you can even see their we websites. They're still trying to upload stuff. And the campaign has started uh, it's two days into the campaigns now. Uh, but they all, as it's customary, they all had their launches uh, on uh, Wednesday. Some of them had them more virtually uh, with supporters, you know, join with Zoom sessions. Uh, some, like Ved Vendosa, had these large uh, outdoors uh, campaign, but with no social distancing. Uh, uh, but you know, in all, all of the parties, basically, this has become a, a major public outcry of these political parties holding these events uh, with supporters, with no social distance, with very little uh, mass by their supporters. All of the political party leaders have come out and begun their campaigns by attacking Bet Bendosi and Alban Kurti in particular. Well, it's 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 natural. Even the the uh, PDK uh, candidate for prime minister openly said, I think, in the first three minutes of his speech, that uh, our main uh, adversary. I think he was a soft term, but he, he made it known that actually he is running against uh, Ved Vendosia. But this is is playing right in the hand of Albin Kurdi, who is saying, like, you know, this is referendum, you know, it's us against them. Right. <laughs> I'm not just so, saying it, they're saying it. They're saying it. So <clears throat> uh, strategically, in terms of the, the campaign, it, it could hurt them. I think they're still better off talking more about their programs you know, how, what they would do different. Fadmir Lima is sort of a fraction uh, off of PDK, you know, NISMA or uh, the initiative as it translates. Their, uh, their main uh, adversary right now is uh, PDK because that's where they see as they can get the most votes. Uh, Fatmir Lima basically, you know, has sort of the same electorate, some of the same areas. And for him is not so much maybe Albin Kurdi, who is the guy that probably will win the elections and by by a lot. Uh, but uh, his main goal is to pass the threshold of 5% to get into the parliament. Basically saying that he has these values, the real values of PDK, of old PDK, where he was actually number two at one point of PDK. Uh, another interesting thing about these elections is that we actually formally have candidates for president, you know, two, uh, one within the uh, Ved Vendosia uh, group and one with AAK. Uh, they basically are campaigning for the president. Now, here, obviously, the parliament elects the president. Right. But because because the mandate of the presidency is coming up in you know only a, a month after the the elections, 
obviously this has become an, an issue. And AAK, which is a party that gets between eight and 13, 14%, they've actually been very successful in the past being the king maker of a lot of these governments. Right. They've also been in the government, you know, uh, Haradine, which is the head of AAK, twice has been prime minister, not because he won the, uh, the elections, he was, his party was first, but because his party was third. So he became the kingmaker in this. Albin Kurdi and a lot of people from Vadvandosia, they had had a, uh, a conviction, a minor conviction, but still a conviction because they had. And it was a suspended up. sentence, though, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was they... a suspended sentence. Unfortunately, a lot of uh, uh, convictions in Kosovo for politicians are suspended sentences. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the frustration with a lot of people uh, here. Uh, but again, it, it was a, a conviction and. Uh, you know, the, the uh, constitutional court ruled that by the laws basically clarified this. Said, like, if you've been convicted in the last three years, you can't run in elections. And this affected also the other parties. So, Vedvendosia was affected the most because a lot of, a lot of, you know, four or five of their candidates had been involved in two and a half years ago uh, throwing. Um, uh, tear gas. Tear gas in the parliament protesting a uh, demarcation uh, line with Montenegro, basically, the border demarcation yeah. with Montenegro, and because they thought it was unfairly, Kosovo was losing territory and a uh, an association for the Serbian community uh, municipalities which was negotiated between uh, Kosovo and Serbia in, in Brussels. Mm -hmm. And uh, which, you know, turned out to be unconstitutional, but uh, still the, there was the vote for, for the agreement uh, with Serbia. So uh, because of this, they're now ineligible and uh, actually they, they won't show up on the list. Uh, so, Technically, even if they get voted, they they you know they can't get uh, elected. As they can't take their seats. They yeah. can't take their 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 seats. The other issue that's been uh, risen basically whether he can take the office of the prime minister, and that hasn't been clarified by the constitutional court decision. So. What may end up, what may end up uh, being is if if they uh, win uh, enough seats to create the government, they will probably nominate and even elect Albin Kurdi as prime minister, and then he may get challenged in the constitutional court, and right. only then we can find out. Mm -hmm.